Uh, my name's Steve Green. I'm uh, head groundsman at Dixie Grammar School um, in Market Bosworth. Um, we're a small village private school. Um, the sports grounds are approximately half a mile away from the main school. Um, the children are brought down on the minibus. Um, we've just had a new artificial pitch built that you can see behind me, um, which is connected to the main sports ground, um, which is turf, predominantly turf. Um, three football pitches, cricket squares and a rugby pitch and some rugby grids. The actual maintenance um, of this, this sort of surface is, is pretty crucial to be fair. Um, we've been to told by the manufacturers that each 10 hours play on it needs an hour's maintenance on it. Um, so predominantly going on if the school use it for eight hours or sorry, the school, the full school day, uh, plus it's rented out between five o'clock and 9.30 at night. Obviously, it's getting quite a heavy usage throughout the week. Um, we are looking at the moment to, to track to brush it at least once a week, possibly twice a week. Um, it also depends if we, we obviously get debris on the surface, it will be swept as well. Um, you can tell after a good seven hour session on it, the top of the carpet starts to go shiny. Um, that's when the surface starts to get slippy and does, does need a tractor brushing um, just to stand the pile back up. What we normally do is brush it lengthways at one session um, and the next time it's done to brush it across. But we never do it twice in the same direction. Uh, from a maintenance point of view, equipment, um, we've bought three pieces of equipment. Um, we've brought the Sysus sweeper, small Sysus sweeper is 1.2 metres, I think it is in width. Um, I went to see that at a demonstration, Sysus demonstration last year. Um, I was very impressed with it actually. The, the pitch that we went to look at was um, quite heavily with leaves all over it. Um, so we actually put the brush on and, and it did actually pick the, bre the debris off the surface um, and drop the actual infill back through the holes. I was quite impressed with that. Um, we just purchased one of those. That sweep will probably get used probably once a week, once every fortnight, depending on the uses obviously in the debris that's, that's on the surface. Um, we've also bought a zigzag brush as well. Um, which is the zigzags at the back and the straight brush at the front. Also, I've bought the, the flexi comb, which you can actually integrate into the brush. Um, the actual zigzag brush we'll be using probably twice a week, if, if need be. Um, the reason why I bought the flexi comb is obviously that we've got quite a few trees around here. There's a possibility we could get algae or moss onto the surface. So probably every two to three months throughout the winter, depending on what the buildup of algae or moss is, I depend to put the uh, flexi comb onto the back of the brush or on the front of the brush, sorry, um, and just rough the surface up so it keeps the surface clean and standing on. Uh, we used the new equipment for the first time uh, last week. Um, we got on with it very well, actually. Um, the zigzag brush was, was easy to fit. Um, and if you set it right where it's just touching the top of the carpet, um, it, it did a great job to be fair. It stood the carpet pile back up and um, one pass with that actual zigzag brush did the job great. Um, the actual sweeper was brought out afterwards and connected to the, to the tractor. Um, we set that literally where the, the actual brushes are just touching the top of the carpet surface. Um, and once it was pulled up and down the pitch surface, um, the debris was picked up fantastic actually to be honest with you um, because it was a new pitch as well we had small ends that were still left on the edge of the carpet where the lines have been cut in it's picked all those up superbly any infill that was actually picked up and placed into the bucket fell through the holes and back onto the pitch surface um, they were easy to fit um, from the point of view of the sweeper bringing it from the store to the actual pitch it's got a connecting bar where you can actually lift the wheels transfer wheels up connect it to the trailer and just drive it along the road till you get to the pitch then you can unconnect it and drop the actual sweeper and set it to what level do you need on the pitch surface one of the reasons why I actually brought the zigzag was because of it's got a straight brush in front. So you're not actually just getting a brush in one direction, even though you are traveling in one direction. The zigzags are at the back, the straight brush is at the front. Um, so your actual sur pitch surface is actually really getting a good, a good brushing and, and it's standing up. Um, the actual sweeper, quite a few good points with it really. It's light, it's easy to move on your own. You can the interlocking wheels at the side where you can put it into gear and out of gear are pretty easy to use. Um, the bar itself lifts up so from a transfer point of view if your store is not next to the pitch, which mine isn't, 
um, you can actually lift it up, lift the wheels and just drive it along, bring it to the pits and drop the bar down. Um, so the actual travel inside of it is is, is good as well. Um, it's easy to adjust. It's just got an adjusting knob at the top, which you turn clockwise to drop the brushes down and anti-clockwise to lift the brushes up. Um, so from the point of view of that, it's an excellent machine. I like it because it's got the holes at the bottom. So the actual infill, which is the sand infill we have here, just goes in into the pan and then drops through to the holes back onto the pitch surface. So you're actually not losing any infill. All you're taking off is the debris.